Ever had an interview where you felt you could have done more to stand out? Ever wondered what you could have asked the interviewer? We've all had those moments, right? The importance of asking questions in an interview cannot be overstated. In the dance of job interviews, candidates often focus on answering questions, but asking the right ones can be equally, if not more, crucial. It's a two-way street, after all. It's not just about being a good fit for the company, but also about the company being a good fit for you. By asking questions, you get to turn the spotlight on your interviewer for a change. It gives you a chance to show them that you're not just interested in landing any job, but that you're genuinely interested in this specific role at this particular company. It shows that you've done your homework and you're serious about wanting to contribute and grow within the organization. But that's not all. Asking questions also provides you with valuable information about the role and the company. It can give you insights into what your day-to-day -day responsibilities would be, the company culture, opportunities for professional development and how your performance would be evaluated. Imagine walking into an interview armed with a set of well-thought-out questions that not only impress the interviewer but also help you decide if this is the job where you can thrive and succeed. Sounds good, doesn't it? And here's a bonus tip. When you ask thoughtful questions, it can also give you a sense of how the interview is going. If the interviewer seems enthusiastic and willing to answer your questions, that's a, that's a good sign. If they're vague or evasive, well, that might be a red flag. So the next time you're preparing for an interview, remember to spend as much time thinking about the questions you want to ask as the ones you're likely to answer. Now that you understand why asking questions is key, let's dive into the top five questions you should ask in an interview. Starting at number five, ask, what does a typical day in this role look like? This question is not just a filler, but it's rather a key to understanding your potential future in the company. It's like a sneak peek into what you'll be doing day in and day out. Asking this question provides you with a clear picture of the daily tasks and responsibilities that come with the role. It helps you understand whether the job aligns with your skills, interests and work style. You'll get to know if you'll be spending most of your time in meetings or if you'll be working independently. Moreover, it also gives you a sense of the company's work environment. Will it be fast-paced or relaxed? Will you need to wear multiple hats or focus on a specific task? But the importance of this question goes beyond just understanding the role. It's also about showing your potential employer that you're genuinely interested in the job. When you ask about a typical day, you're essentially saying, I'm imagining myself in this role and I want to know what that would look like. It's a subtle way of showing your enthusiasm and commitment, which could make you stand out from other candidates. So don't shy away from asking about a typical day in the role. It's a question that benefits both you and the employer. By asking this, you're showing genuine interest in the role and the company. Our fourth question is, what are the company's values? This is a crucial question to ask, and here's why. When you're applying for a job, you're not just looking for a paycheck. You're looking for a place where you can grow, contribute, and feel fulfilled. And a big part of that is the company culture, which is often shaped by its values. So what do we mean by the term values? These are the guiding principles that shape the company's decisions, actions, and overall direction. They could be things like teamwork, innovation, customer service, or social responsibility. They're the core beliefs that the company holds dear. By asking about the company's values, you're showing an interest in the bigger picture. You're not just there to do a job, you're there to be part of a team, to contribute to a shared vision. But this question isn't just about showing your interest. It's also about finding out if this is the right place for you. Do the company's values align with your own? If they do, you're likely to feel more satisfied and engaged in your work. If they don't, you might find yourself feeling out of place or even unhappy. So don't be shy about asking this question. It shows that you're thinking about more than just the job description. You're thinking about how you can fit into the company culture and contribute to its mission. This question shows your desire to fit into the company's culture. The third question to ask is, well, what opportunities for professional development does the company offer? Now, this question is a real game changer. It's not just about finding out what's in it for you. Sure, everyone wants to grow, to learn, to move up in their career, but it's also about showing the interviewer that you're not just looking for a paycheck, you're looking for a path. 
you're looking for a place where you can not only contribute but also develop and reach your full potential. It shows initiative, ambition and a desire to grow within the company. It says, hey, I'm not just thinking about what I can do for you right now, I'm also thinking about how I can continue to be valuable to you in the future. This question also shows that you're looking beyond the immediate role and considering your long-term future with the company. It sends a strong signal that you're not just looking for a job but a career, a place where you can grow, evolve and contribute over time. The response to this question can also provide valuable insight into the company's culture and values. Do they prioritize employee growth? Do they provide resources for continuing education? Do they have a track record of promoting from within? The answers to these questions can help you decide if this is the kind of place where you want to invest your time and energy. So don't forget to ask, what opportunities for professional development does the company offer? This question demonstrates your long-term commitment to the company. The second most important question is, what are the expectations for this role in the first 30, 60 or 90 days? Now, why is this question so essential? Well, it's all about painting a clear picture. By asking this, you're given a snapshot of what a successful start in the role looks like. You'll gain insight into the tasks you'll be tackling, the milestones you'll be expected to reach and the challenges you'll likely face. It's like having a roadmap to success laid out for you, giving you a head start before you even begin. But it's not just about understanding your role. This question also sends a powerful message to your potential employer. It shows that you're not just looking for a job, but you're eager to excel in the role. You're not just content with getting by, you want to hit the ground running and make a real difference from day one. It showcases your initiative, your ambition, and most importantly, your commitment to the role. By asking about the expectations for the first 30, 60 or 90 days, you're showing that you're serious about your performance and you're ready to take on whatever the job throws at you. So not only does this question provide you with valuable information, but it also positions you as a proactive and dedicated candidate, someone who's ready to roll up their sleeves and get to work. This question shows your drive to succeed right from the start. And the number one question to ask is, what are the next steps in the interview process? This question is not just a polite way to wrap up the conversation. It's a strategic move that can serve multiple purposes. Firstly, it demonstrates your enthusiasm for the role. By asking about the next steps, you're signaling that you're eager to move forward in the process. You're not just passively waiting for things to unfold, but actively interested in what comes next. This can be a strong point in your favor, as employers appreciate candidates who show real interest and initiative. Secondly, asking this question can provide you with valuable insight into the company's hiring timeline. Are they looking to fill the position immediately, or is there a more drawn-out process ahead? Knowing this can help you manage your expectations and plan accordingly. Thirdly, it gives you an idea of what to prepare for. Will there be a second interview, a skills test perhaps, or maybe a meeting with other team members? By knowing what's coming, you can better prepare and increase your chances of success. Lastly, it shows that you're organized and proactive. You're not just waiting to be told what to do, you're taking the initiative to find out and plan ahead. This can leave a strong impression on the interviewer and might just give you an edge over other candidates. This question will leave a lasting impression, showing your eagerness and readiness for the next steps. So there you have it, the top five questions you should ask during an interview. To recap, ask about a typical day in the role, the company's values, professional development opportunities, expectations for the first 30, 60 or 90 days, and next steps in the interview process. These questions are your secret weapon to standing out and showing your keen interest. Remember, asking the right questions can make all the difference. Don't forget to subscribe, follow, like, comment and share this video and stay tuned for more helpful tips.